Hello, I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to do vertex painting properly in Unreal 4. So the idea of vertex painting is essentially to be able to get lots of tiling textures and then just paint them onto a surface so that you, you kind of can add detail in certain areas and you can break up the tiling and just make things look interesting and nice. So we're going to make a sort of concrete floor with lots of different overlapping materials. We're going to have bits that are kind of broken out of it and we're going to have some puddles of water in there as well. So similar to what you, you'll see in, for example, the reflections uh, environment that, that Epic have put up. But our material is going to be a bit, well, I think a bit simpler than theirs because uh, I find it really hard to follow those ones. Okay, so let me just quickly go over what vertex painting is. In Unreal, we have this tab here called Paint. And in this Paint tab, we can paint red, green, blue, and alpha onto our vertices in the world. So this mesh that I've got here, if I go to Wireframe, um, then it's disappeared. Okay, I don't know why that disappeared, but here's the wireframe, and you can see I've got lots of verts in this. This is definitely a bit overkill, but for the sake of an example, I've just put loads of loads of edges into this. You will need edges though. Um, you, it's these, it's the verts, the individual verts that we're painting this data onto. So you obviously can't paint the data if there isn't a vertex there. Okay. So this is the material that I've got applied to that floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a vertex color node. So this vertex color node allows us to get the information that we've painted in here into the material editor. So let's just plug that into the base color and apply that. And then if I go to this paint tab, you can see that I can get my red channel and I can paint some red into the verts. I could get my green channel, paint some green in, or I could get the blue and paint some blue in. So what we're going to do is we're going to essentially we're going to use alert to texture the different parts of this. So we're just going to say where this green channel is painted, then if there's something on if, some, if there's some data there use this texture, if there isn't, use another one. Same with the red channel, same with the blue channel. So let's just set that up quickly to show you how that works. So I've got two textures, I'll bring those in. And I'm gonna use my red channel for this. So I'm gonna say that, let's bring an alert. I don't like that. Um, I'm going to use my red channel to drive this alert. So this is going to say where there's nothing in that red channel, do this, and where there is something in the red channel, do this. And the more there is in the red channel, the more it will do this, and the less it will do that. So let's plug in the base texture to our A, and the other texture to our B. Plug that into the base color. Apply that. And now you can see if I paint the red channel, then anywhere that I start to paint stuff on, this texture is going to appear. And if I delete it, it will go away. So that's the basic principle. Now, before I carry on, I want to set up some alphas so that this effect looks nice and we, we have a nice fall off on, on it. So to explain that, I'm just going to use a couple of uh, simple colors. So I'm just going to use black and I'm going to use white. So anywhere that I paint the red channel, I'm going to have some white. And anywhere that I haven't painted it, I'm going to have black. Just instead of these textures, just so it's easier to see what's going on here. 
Um, so if I paint the red channel, I'm going to get this. Now the problem that I have is I want to try and get rid of this effect on the edges. So where it's kind of got this, you can see the triangles and you've got this not very attractive looking uh, sort of stepping, uh, I guess it's sort of looks like aliasing. Um, it's just where the, the, the triangles are being, or the verts are being painted, and they, there's only information on each one of these verts, so it's get, you're going to get this stepping effect. Now what I want is to try and get rid of that and replace all of this with a nice textured fall off that looks a bit more realistic and you know doesn't draw your attention to the polys that are there so much. Okay, to try and explain what's going on in this, I've just created a simple texture. And um, what I'm gonna do is, let me just plug that into the base color. Okay, so this is what we've got. Now you don't necessarily need to do this, but it'll make it easier to visualize what's going on in the alpha channel. Uh, sorry, in the material editor. I'm just pretending that this isn't a splodge of color I've brought in, but this is the vertex data. So I'm pretending that I've painted this splodge onto my uh, red channel of the vertex paint. Um, so once I've done this, I'll replace this texture with this channel once I've got everything set up. But it just means that if I if I was to plug that into the base color, then I just won't be able to see anything in the material editor. So what I want is I want these areas here that are pure white, I want them to remain white. But these areas that are kind of gray and fading out, I want them to have a sort of mottled texture to them that fades out. Okay, so in Photoshop, I've just created a very simple texture uh, just with some noise on it. So this is black and white noise, and then I've just evened it out a little bit so that I don't have pure black and I don't have pure white. It's all kind of somewhere in a grayscale. So I'll save that, and I'm gonna bring that in to Unreal, which should be this. Okay, let's bring that into the material editor. So I want to kind of apply, I want to apply this effect to anything that's around the edges in the grayscale. Right. In order to do that, we just need to do a little bit of maths. First of all, let's multiply these together because that's going to be the basic principle. So I'm going to take the red channel of that and the red channel of that, which is just, all these channels are the same because it's just gray, grayscale stuff. And you can see that when I multiply those together, I get this mottled effect. Um, I'm going to add a texture coordinate to this just because I want to tile this up a little bit. So I'm just going to tile that by about five and five, like that. So this is, good apart from the fact that I want it in these areas but I don't want it to do this here because I don't want it to kind of uh, give this mottled effect to the whole texture I just want it on the fall off here so in order to do that I'm going to uh, I'm going multi to multiply this and then I'm going to use a clamp. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, I'm going to clamp things at zero and one. So I'm going to stop any values or any values that are less than zero, I'm going to bring up to zero, although we shouldn't have any of those anyway. And any values that are greater than one, I'm going to bring down to one. So what I want to do is to kind of flood out this area here until it gets to a value of one, and then I'll just be left with a fall off. So let's put a multiply in there and plug that into here. And then after that, let's put in a clamp. And my clamp is set to a minimum of zero and a maximum of one. 
Right, now I can kind of use this multiply to start to flood out this area in the middle. So if I bring it up to 10, you can see it's starting to uh, kind of wash out those areas. We're still getting the fall off around the outside, but it's starting to wash out these areas. And the clamp is stopping it from actually putting values above one. So let's try a value of 15, 20, it's almost there, 25, that looks right. So I've still got some little bits in here, so let's maybe bring that up to 26. And that looks right. Okay, so if I was to take this clamp out, then, well, in fact, you can't really see it, but th these values in here now would be much higher than one. So we don't want that to happen. Now, that's fine and that's set up, but I just want a little bit more control over this than that. So I'm just gonna add in a, if I can click, I'm gonna add in a power node at the end of this, and this is just gonna multiply it by itself. So it's just gonna effectively make the effect more extreme. So you can see how that's, act, that's behaving there. If I set that to one, we get kind of this slightly softer thing. If I set it to like five, then we get this sort of sharper effect. Because this is clamped at one, uh, I'm multiplying things by themselves. So if I set this to example two, then for these bits that are in the middle, all that would be happening in this is we would just be getting one times one, so we'd still be getting one. So no matter what, you know, if I set that to five, we'd be getting one times one, times one, times one, times one, we'd still be getting one. So this is never gonna push the values above one because that's clamped at one. But what it will do is it will start to separate out the values um, in between zero and one because we'll kind of multiply 0.5 by 0.5, so it'll push it downwards. Um, and the more we push it downwards, the, the more it's gonna sort of, the fall off's gonna get, get harder and harder. Okay, so that's all set up now. Like I said, what I'm gonna do now is, let's just unplug that. And what, what I wanted to do was to, rather than just having this in the base color, I was gonna drive the lerp with this, which will actually just do exactly the same thing at the moment because we just have values of zero and one. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, as I said earlier, I'm gonna replace that texture sample that I've only got in here so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna replace that with the vertex color data. Let's apply that. Okay, so now I get this kind of effect where I've got everything in the middle is white, but instead of having those, that really nasty fall off, I've now got this much softer um, and more kind of aesthetically pleasing fall off. So as I paint in my red channel, now, I sort of get that fall off. And if I'm not happy with the way that that's working, then I can just modify that a bit with this power node here. So if I set that to one, I'll get a slightly different effect. Um, if I set it to, let's say five, I'll get a slightly different effect again. So I just need to find where the sweet spot for that is. Um, I can also just play with these, the strength and the fall off settings a bit to get a soft fall off when I'm actually painting the verts. So you can see now that's much, definitely a much nicer way of having these two effects, uh, these two textures blend together than having those horrible triangles. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll leave this video here and in the next video, I'll show you how to hook this up to uh, 
to use all the different textures and blend between them.